Hey everybody, this is the Beware reading for your sign for this month. I'll do three spreads. What you need to be aware of this month spread, the advice spread, and the next good thing that will happen to you this month that will at least put a smile on your face spread. Please like, share and subscribe. Let's begin. This is the first out of three spreads, uh, the Beware spread, Scorpio. We have uh, the King of Wands clarified by the Two of Wands. We have uh, the Two of Swords clarified by the Four of Swords. We have the Five of Cups clarified by the Ace of Cups and uh, the Three of Swords. And we also have the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or pretty much any Zodiac sign. I usually go with a King or a Queen or both, if one or both show up. And we do have you, the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck and the person you're dealing with. The very first card that came out is the uh, King of Wands. So that's the person. Uh, most likely a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius or somebody with a lot of fire in their charts. And uh, when it comes to this particular person, it's a dead end. It's not going to go anywhere um, or they're going to choose somebody else over you. And that's what you should be aware of. There, There is only one card in this spread that could be interpreted as a card of taking action. That Ace of Cups uh, closer to the deck. However, it's a clarifier, right? So, no. If you're waiting for this person to make a move, if you're waiting for this person to take it to the next level with you, no, they're not. You're not going to be, you know, getting what you're waiting for or hoping for, right? So, yeah, the King of Wands is clarified by the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is a card of a choice. Right? Uh, or this is them trying to decide what they want to do when it comes to you. Right? Uh, to the right from the King of Wands, we have the Two of Swords, clarified by the Four of Swords. The Two of Swords is pretty much the same energy as the Two of Wands. Right? Again, card of a choice, card of a crossroads. Right? The Four of Swords clarifying that. This is them taking a little break to think about it. Or they're basically doing nothing. Right? They're straining you along or they're just sitting at this energy at the crossroads and they're not making any moves whatsoever. Perhaps this person is very comfortable with the way things are if you're already seeing this person and you're hoping to take it all away with them or perhaps they've got other options. Right? They And if you're waiting for them to make a move I don't think that move is coming. Right? Then we have that the Five of Cups, clarified by that, by that Ace of Cups that I was just talking about. Then there's also the Three of Swords as the second clarifier, right? So that's what you are perhaps waiting or hoping for, right? That Ace of Cups, but it's never going to come your way. The Five of Cups is a card of regret and grief. And I think that's you at some point in the future, right? The, the Three of Swords is a card of a broken heart. And uh, that also is applicable to you, Scorpio, right? So in the future, like I said, it's a dead end. It's not going to go anywhere. So that's what we have so far. But um, let's take a look at the advice spread just in case. Here's the advice for you, Scorpio. We have the Five of Wands, the Ten of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, and Death on the bottom of the deck. Well, Death on the bottom of the deck is your major arcana card, Scorpio. So that's you, and it's the only major arcana card on the table, right? Um, whenever I get spreads like this, I often change my perspective and I just look at them from a slightly different angle and I ask myself, what do we not have on the table? What do we not have in the spread? And the answer is we don't have any commitment. We don't have any lovey-dovey offers. We don't have any, you know, cuddly, fuzzy type of energy. Quite the opposite. This spread is talking about just really, really dark uh, energy, I guess, because we got the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, the Ten of Wands. There's nothing here for you. The Five of Pentacles is a card of somebody feeling left out in the cold, feeling sad, feeling miserable, right? The Five of Wands, the first card that came out, is a card of a struggle. It's a card of drama, right? And uh, the Ten of Wands in the middle is a card of a huge burden. That's something that's taken a toll on us. So yeah, it just feels really dark and heavy, right? So I think. You're wasting your time. If, you, if you're going to confront this person, or if you have been confronting them, you know, asking them, so what's up, are you going to, uh, are we going anywhere, or if you're just waiting for this person to make a move, again, it just feels like a dead end. There's absolutely nothing here for you. There is no love here. There's only you feeling sad, miserable. This is 
you struggling with this? So from the advice perspective, I think uh, um, it's just time for you to throw in the towel. I, I, and it's not, there's nothing wrong with you, Scorpio. I think it's that person, even though they're probably a fire sign, right? But, and fire signs are very decisive people for the most part. Fire signs usually know what they want. Uh, perhaps this is just an exception, right? Or again, they just got somebody else. Um, on the side, or they're thinking about somebody else, or they're just non-committal or something. I, I think you're wasting your time with this person. All right, so we're not going to waste any more time on this, and uh, more, we're moving forward. Uh, spread number three is the next good thing that'll happen to you in the near future. Here's the third spread. Scorpio, this is the next good thing that'll happen to you that'll at least put a smile on your face. Uh, we have the Three of Wands, clarified by the Fool, the Magician, the Wheel of Fortune, clarified by the Queen of Cups, and uh, we also have the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, you're the Queen of uh, Cups here, right? Clarifying the Wheel of Fortune. And uh, the next good thing that'll happen to you, it's a brand spanking new beginning for you. And uh, most likely this is work or business related. Right, the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck kind of gives us a hint. <laughs> Granted, uh, the Eight of Pentacles could be a card of working on something diligently, perfecting something, mastering something, right? But uh, I think in this case, this is somehow work-related. And again, this is a brand spanking new beginning, perhaps something you haven't tried before. You wanted it, but you never, perhaps you were just uncomfortable with it or something like that. But I do see you jumping head first with this. It's like you're going to make up your mind and after that there is no turning back. Perhaps you're changing careers or perhaps you're uh, taking a new job where you will have to learn a whole bunch of new skills or something like that. But uh, I think you're very, very determined. Okay, the three of ones, the very first card I came out, which is clarified by the fold, the three of ones is my card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made the decision, and after that there is no turning back. The fold, clarifying it, this is you taking a leap of faith, starting something new, trying something new. Perhaps you're going to leave your nine to five and start your own business, right? Or you may even relocate. And to take a new job, to land. Perhaps uh, this job will just simply land on your lap, uh, or somebody will offer it to you, and you're like, "Oh, okay, yeah, why not?" Uh, all retrogrades are done by the 23rd, right? And this, um, I don't know if you read this post from uh, December of last year in the community section um, on my channel. I I kind of talked about uh, that uh, January 22nd, 23rd would be a, a an amazing launching point for pretty much anything because all retrogrades are finally done and perhaps that's what you're doing right the magician it could be a Gemini you're dealing with but the, the magician is a card of manifestation and it's also a card of taking action it's a very active card right the magicians got all the tools they need at their disposal okay the will of fortune is most definitely a start of a new cycle for some of you you could literally relocate or you may Consider traveling for, for work, right? The Wheel of Fortune could be uh, a card of traveling. But uh, it's a definitely a new cycle. Okay, and you're the Queen of Cups, clarifying the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. So, um, yeah, there's just so much going on here, right? The will, the Fool is definitely a card of taking action. The Three of Wands is a card of somebody who just... Uh, you know, made up their mind, uh, and uh, in my book it is <laughs> a card of taking action. The Magician is all about taking action. And the Wheel of Fortune is a start of a new cycle. Alright, so that's the, and uh, since this is a very positive spread, the next good thing that will put a smile on your face, I think you're going to enjoy it. Alright, so yeah, that's what I have for you, Scorpio, for this reading, for this month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And, uh, other than that, Scorpio, have an amazing February.